Let's create a splash screen in Microsoft Excel. It'll look just like this. It'll open, and it'll close down, and it'll impress everybody. Let's begin. In order to create a splash screen, we first need to activate the Visual Basic Editor. The way I do it is I hit the Alt and F11 key at the same time to get back behind the worksheet. Now we need to view the Project Explorer. So you click on View, click on Project Explorer, and the sidebar opens up. Now all you have to do is right click, go to the Insert menu, click on User Form. Now we have a nice blank form that we can design our splash screen. Let's add some things to this form. I'm going to click on Label, and I'm going to add a label here. I'm going to click, and as you can see, my cursor is on the inside, and now I can change it. My splash screen. I really don't like how small my text is, so what I can do is right-click, go to Properties, come on down to the font, click on the little ellipsis tab, and I can change something. I'm going to change the font size to a nice big 20, and I really don't like Tahoma font. I'm going to stick with Arial. That looks a lot better. I think I want an image file now. In order to add an image file, you have to click on the image control, draw it out on your form, come over to the properties. If the properties is closed, just click on the little properties window, just as long as your control is selected. Navigate to picture, click on the ellipsis, and now we can find a nice picture. I think the desert will do. Alright, I think that looks really good. So let's put the code behind the splash screen and uh, finish our tutorial. Before you add the code to make this splash screen display, if you ever want to look at what it might look like, you could click the run and get a small demo of what you just created. That way you can design it or move some things around. It's up to you. I'm going to close this out and now I'm going to add a little bit of code to my workbook. I'm going to click on this workbook and I already have the code pasted on my clipboard to save time but it's really simple. All I'm saying is when this workbook opens up, show the form. Okay, let's move on. What we need to do now is when that form opens, we want it to close after a certain amount of time. So what we have to do now is put some code behind the form in order to make it open up. By default, it likes to put in an on-click event. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to put in my own code, but this one is called user form activate. If you come over here, you have a whole list of choices of what you can pick to put behind the form, but this one is when the form activates, I want to start the time now and I want to count down five seconds. And then I want to call a function called kill the form. And that's what we're going to do next. We're going to make a little subform or sub procedure to call when the form ends the five second time. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a new module. And I just have three little lines. Kill the form is the function name. And then I want to unload user form one. If I come over here to user form one, 
it's going to call kill the form and the compiler will come over here it'll leap over here and it will actually do what's in here and then it will go back to the form so let's test this out I'm going to save it I'm going to close this out I called it new workbook I'm going to double click on it and there's our splash screen one two three four and there it goes it's about five seconds right so what we've learned is a very simple way to insert a splash screen into your workbook it will impress not only your users but maybe your employer too thank you for watching my tutorial